I'm a DJ. I play at clubs, I play at underground parties. If you told me that I would be attending classes a couple times a week, learning with a, a teacher that I have in Jerusalem, you know, I would have told you you were crazy. <laughs> I would have said you're nuts. What are you talking about? I'm a, I'm a Hollywood uh, screenwriter, and that's, yeah, that's what I do. This Rec 2 is probably the biggest movie I worked on. I never thought about how I wound up actually looking into, you know, a book about Torah. It started more in, in a pursuit of meaning and purpose in life, really. I was born into what, what was once the royal family of Swaziland. How would I define the Torah? It's not just a pursuit of wisdom. Torah is life itself. The anchor of my life is truly my learning. I try to spend most of my early morning hours doing Jewish learning, primarily of the Talmud. And I try to learn also with my son in Israel via phone. You can read over it again if you mess up, even though he's not going over the whole time. I am a singer, songwriter, a musician. I've been doing it since I was 15 years old. Initially, what got me involved in Torah was the amount that it, it made sense to me. And I was finally getting answers to all the questions that I was asking. Every day I come in, and Mr. Horowitz and I learn together. One page of the Talmud. I'm committed to learning Torah because the, the information is incredibly valuable. The Almighty gave us instructions for living, how to maximize our life, how to maximize the joy, the happiness, the meaning. Any possible opportunity he will use to learn. I mean, why wouldn't I be committed? Who, who, could, who could turn down such an opportunity? This train is a phenomenon. What happens every morning, a group of us gather for a daily class in the town movement. It's a wonderful way to start your day. We know when the train rolls into Penn Station and the doors open, it's over. So every minute is valuable. Every Wednesday, 10 to 20 women come in, into my home and learn. The people that come to our class are, it's such an eclectic group. All different age groups, some have professions, some are full-time moms. Some of them have something of a background, some have no background at all. I think that these women come to learn Torah because it gives them a meaning and a depth that nothing else really gives them. I had no idea that I was going in to learn about life. People are learning Torah everywhere, whether it's living rooms or it's, um, you know, they have like a lunch and learn at somebody's office. I've been learning uh, since 1999. We have a lot of fun, uh, I feel inspired, and at the end of the sessions I have real practical tools that I can apply to day-to-day -to -day living. When I grew up, the Torah was dusty Bible stories, men in robes walking through sand dunes. Moses, Moses. The reason I was disconnected is I had no idea what Judaism was. I really thought it was bagels and dreidels. Torah always seemed not cool. I mean, there were a lot of things that were cool, but that wasn't one of them. You know, when I grew up in Toronto, Hebrew school was known as, affectionately known as Jew jail. 
It was like a sentence. Nobody enjoyed Hebrew school, whether you grew up observant or you didn't grow up observant. Who enjoyed Hebrew school? It was so irrelevant. It was so dry. It was so, it was torture. And you couldn't wait to escape. And that's what we grew up with. But today, I don't know, man. I, today I sit there and I look at, you know, I go into iTunes and the, you got Britney Spears and Matis Yahoo. I don't know, and Mats Yahoo sings about this stuff all the time. Most of my inspiration comes from, from different things, and one of the main places for me is learning Torah, learning from the scriptures and the Kabbalah. You know, that is pretty cool. It's amazing to see so many people just getting so interested and asking questions and really starting to get connected again with Judaism. I never would have thought I'd be here. I could, a year ago, I, there's no way. I, I wouldn't have thought I, was, I would be in Israel, in Jerusalem, in the old city, learning about Judaism, reading about the Torah, um, finding myself drawn towards all that, that Judaism has to offer. I never would have thought that. Tens of thousands of people who were brought up secular, who were brought up with a profound conviction that there is no truth, and certainly not a God, come back to their heritage. How come? I think in our generation, we've seen it all. And you've reached the top of the mountain. You feel like there's something that's missing. I think people have an aching to know, what am I doing here? They want to know what is their potential. And we stumble on Torah. You stumble on a class. You stumble on a web page. And there's a sense that you get. It's, it's something that's rich, that's, that's deep, that's truthful. It's truth. It's timeless truth. And it feels different. It, it feels good. And we want more. I really didn't know anything about Torah. I knew it was a nice book with some nice characters in it, but I didn't really know it, it was real and that it meant anything. But once people get a taste of it and realize that, you know what, hey, this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is cool. And the more I learned, the more I saw that the values that it taught were really something that I connected with. Torah is the ultimate classic. It is the best seller of all time. When they hear it, it's true, and they sense it's something from a very deep source. So when they hear Torah, and they know it works, and they sense it, then they, they're interested, they come back for more. When people say Torah, they don't know what it is. It's not ritual, it's not dogma. You know what Torah is? Instructions for living. What is Torah? Torah is spiritual, historical, mystical. The word Torah means teachings or instructions. And so the Torah of the Jewish people is called Torah Chaim, instructions for living. The most complicated piece of equipment on the planet Earth is a human being. And we see our manufacturer in heaven gave us a guidebook. Torah, literal definition, Torah Chaim, instructions for living. The Torah is the blueprint of life. The Almighty is the architect. And just like an architect unrolls the plans for the building, the Almighty unrolls the Torah scroll and looks into it and sees the building blocks of life. Emotional, physical, spiritual, it's all in the Torah. Torah is the DNA of a Jew's life. The DNA is, is the, the, the code which directs your life. That's what Torah is. It's the DNA of Jewish life.